Hello, everybody, and Hanukkah Sameach, wishing you a uh, happy Hanukkah. I'm Jonah Potasnik, and I'm speaking from the Beth Zedek congregation here in Calgary. And uh, I wanted to share with you another fun fact about the holiday. So almost every Jew or everyone that lights a Hanukkah today will light in the same way, starting with one candle on the first night and then progressing, adding a candle each night up to eight. Believe it or not, this was actually an ancient argument back in the day between two great sages. Hillel, one of these sages, described lighting the, the Hanukkah in the way that we do it today, starting with one candle on the first night, two on the second, so on and so forth. The idea being that we always rise in holiness. We always increase over time the amount of light that we try and shine forth into the world. Another sage, Shammai, thought the opposite. He taught that when we light the Hanukkah, we start with eight candles on the first night and progressively decrease down to one candle on the last, on the eighth night. One reason for this, this teaching is for Shammai, the, can, the, the number of candles corresponded to the way sacrifices worked in the ancient temple in Jerusalem, which also progressed night after night, day after day, in the same way. But we can also glean another idea from Shammai's Hanukkah. When we look out into the world, we see a diverse array of lights in a beautiful tree outside of our window, or the face of a loved one, or an embrace from a friend. But we know that behind or within all of those diverse lights shines the one true light. Shammai's Hanukkah, or his way of lighting the Hanukkah, is a physical reminder to see through all those diverse forms of light and notice the one holy spark that lies within each of them. So with that, I want to wish you guys a happy Hanukkah uh, and enjoy the lights of the Hanukkah.